The technique of problem-based learning is to apply your learning to an actual case scenario. The way it works in anatomy and physiology is we take a scenario of a person that has some kind of injury or illness and we give lots of symptoms about that person and maybe some historical data, maybe even genetic data, that help to unravel what could be wrong with that person. It's really the scientific method because what you're doing is taking observations and then you're creating a hypothesis about what could be wrong and then you collect data and you analyze the data and then you try to come up with a conclusion or a diagnosis. They have to work collaboratively. So that's really important that each person comes up with some information and then they pool their information to try to come up with a diagnosis. The other part of it is that they are exploring areas of their interest. So they take off in directions and then they allow that to go down avenues of choice that give them an idea of who they are and what they're interested in. This course is an elective course. Some of the students have had tremendous background in biological sciences and some very little. I try to create a course that has something for everybody. Many of the cases have terminology that are beyond any course or anything that they've ever been exposed to. But this generation, they can get out there and they know where to find the answers. I encourage them not just to bring in what they already know, but extend that and add to that. I really like the problem-based learning because it's kind of like self-guided. So as a group, you figure out your own things and research things outside of the classroom and on your own. When we first read the case, we were like, oh my gosh, you have to be kidding. Like, we, there's no way we can figure this out. There was like probably 30 words we didn't even understand. So we divided it all up and we had to research it. And then at the end, it was pretty cool to like figure out exactly what it was because we pretty much wanted to give up in the beginning. And then it was really enlightening that we got to figure it out and we felt pretty proud when we did that. Making it real is so important for the kids. If you have it patterned after a real person or a real event, the kids can relate to it more, they can buy into it more, it has to do with their life a little bit more. At the end of the project, we found out that some of our patients were actually modeled after individuals that went to Punahou. And it was kind of scary to find out that some of these problems happen to individuals that are teenagers. But I appreciate the fact that the actual patients were real. You can create a problem or a situation that brings in data and application to whatever your discipline is having a situation that then they can work on and try to unravel and feel like they're taking somewhere is so empowering. I feel that the whole process is something that can be of value to any teacher in any class.